I'd like to show you how research is not the only place where innovative thinking is being done right now at BGU. Times are changing. Today, the university needs to be innovative and cutting edge, not only in research, but also in the educational experience it offers. Times are changing. The Israeli Council of Higher Education has realized that. And last year launched a new project called the New Campus. One of the strongest elements of that project was a tender open to all universities and colleges in Israel, inviting them to offer suggestions and new programs for the formation of new entrepreneurship centers. I'm very proud to say that BGU has won six million shekels for its new entrepreneurship activities. I'm even more proud to say that this university is about to match and double this amount over the next four years. <laughs> Entrepreneurship is a set of skills we seem to must acquire in today's world. It does not necessarily mean that we're all going to be starting up companies or businesses of some kind. Rather, it means that in today's fast-paced and challenging times, we need to adjust to changes, to reinvent our talents and our merits, and to be very quick in using all the technology around us. Even school kids today get a new educational experience. I personally live in Suhadasa, which is a village, a small one in the periphery. We have only one high school, we have one junior high. Yet, when my son, Yotam, entered seventh grade, he could choose from three different entrepreneurship programs at no cost for the parents. So it seems that at all levels of this startup nation, it has now become realized that it is important to incorporate entrepreneurship in education and equip our children with entrepreneurial tools. In October, this university took a huge leap forward when we launched our flagship entrepreneurship program, the Cactus Capital Fund, a $1 million fund that invests in student entrepreneurship and ideas. Since we wanted the fund to directly speak with our students, we thought it could be a good idea to take a student to run the fund. So we chose Roy Kimchi. He is a fourth-year undergraduate student in industrial engineering. Roy came along and issued a call for proposals. Within less than a month, he had 60 different applications by students for funding of their entrepreneurial ideas. By the way, those were from all faculties, which is quite important. But investing in student ideas is only one part of the equation, and only one part of what we wanted to, do, to achieve with this project. Because if we look at the entrepreneurship process from idea to a product, somewhere along the line, you have to have investment, or preferably investments. And we wanted to teach our children what is a smart investment. So we added an analyst course. Again, Roy issued a call for proposals. This time, he had to close down registration after only three days, as he received 130 applications, and he had only 24 seats on the course. By now, those 24 students have already completed about two-thirds of the program of this course and already consider themselves an elite squad, the investment commando. Why is that? It is because they know that once they graduate, they will get a first-hand experience to practice what they have just learned. 
They will become scouters within the campuses, and they will also have a chance to sit on the investment committee of Cactus Capital, of our new fund, and in essence, we'll be making investment decisions on ideas suggested by their fellow students. So what we have created here is an unprecedented educational and learning experience. Students investing in students, managed by students. This form of learning offers them a completely different new educational experience with new skills that they need to acquire in today's life, preparing them for the day they have to show their CVs around to potential employers. But here's the thing. Entrepreneurship is not the most important thing that happens here at the campus. The most important things that happen here are research and academic teaching. So why is it that everyone suddenly talks of entrepreneurship in the academy as if they should go together well? I think that entrepreneurship is a very long word that eventually describes this set of skills which act as a supplement, an important supplement, a necessary bridge between the academia and the world at large. Times are changing. And Ben Gurion University is adopting, making sure it provides the best educational experience and academic experience to its students and staff. Thank you.